the countdown clock. Count, countdown clock will resume in five, four, three, two, two one. one. T minus nine minutes and counting. Nine minutes and counting. DLS auto sequence has been initiated. Confirmation that the ground launch sequencer has been initiated. It means all countdown functions are now automatically controlled by this the GLS computer that's located in here in the firing room. At the T-minus 31 second point, the ground launch sequencer issues a command to the five onboard general purpose computers. The redundant set launch sequencer or RSLS software. We're at T-minus eight minutes and five seconds of counting. Pilot Terry Vertz is now setting switches in the cockpit to directly connect the three onboard fuel cells to the essential power buses in Endeavour. Three fuel cells provide all the electricity for the shuttle while it's in orbit. T-minus Seven minutes, 30 seconds and counting. DLS is go for orbiter access arm recheck. Endeavor OTC, let's start out the year with the delivery and installation of tranquility and the installation of the cupola, providing a breathtaking view of the Earth and giving you windows to the world. You see the orbiter access arm being moved away from the hatch of Endeavor. It's the walkway that the crew uses to get in and out of the shuttle and it can be returned into position within a few seconds if necessary. We're at T-minus six minutes. 30 seconds and counting. Therapist, ATU display recorder started. TLT, OTC, perform ATU pre-start. TLT, and work. Terry Burks has given the go ahead, been given the go ahead to start the auxiliary power units. And the APUs provide pressure to the shuttle's three hydraulic systems, which uh, move the main engine nozzles and the aero surfaces on the shuttle. T minus. Five minutes, 55 seconds and counting. OTC, PLT, APU pre-start complete, three great top backs. Copy that, thank you. We're fine that the APUs are up. We're at T-minus five minutes and 30 seconds and counting. T minus five minutes and counting. TLS is go for orbiter APU start. TLT OTC perform APU start. DDR, recon DDR reconfigure heater. Terry Verse has been given the go ahead to start the auxiliary DDR power units. The launch team has now terminated the liquid oxygen replenish to the external tank and is now initiating the liquid oxygen drain back from the piping at the bottom of the shuttle. T minus four minutes, 30 seconds and counting. OTC, PLP, APU start is complete, three gray. Copy, three gray. Verifying that all three auxiliary power units are functioning OTC, well. Copy. 
Right. T minus four minutes and counting. CLS is go for perk sequence four. The final helium purge of the three main engines is now underway. Preparation for main engine start. T minus three minutes, 30 seconds and counting. See the final aero service checks are being complete and Endeavour's three main engines are being moved through a pre-programmed series of maneuvers. It's the final test before launch. Prove that they are, will do the steering that they need to get Endeavour into orbit. T minus three minutes and counting. DLS is go for ET LO2 pressurization. We're going to go to begin the final pressurization of the external tanks, liquid oxygen. LCC, clear caution warning memory, verify no unexpected errors. T minus two minutes, 30 seconds and counting. See the gaseous oxygen vent hood, or it's also known as the beanie cap, is being slowly retracted away from the top of the external tank. No unexpected errors. Copy that. Thank you. Caution and warning system has been cleared. No Flight issues there. Please close and lock your visors and initiate O2 flow. Endeavour has visors and O2 flow and work. Copy. We're at T minus two minutes and counting. Let's just go for ET LH2 pressurization. Liquid hydrogen replenish on the external tank is now being stopped. And we are 90 seconds away from the launch of Space Shuttle Endeavour. T-minus one minute and counting. T-minus 50 seconds. We're now transferring the shuttle's internal electricity. Endeavour is now being powered by its three onboard fuel cells. We're coming up on auto sequence start. T minus 31 seconds and counting. Yeah. Endeavour's five main onboard computers now have primary control of all the spacecraft's critical functions, including control of the countdown from here on out. T minus 16 seconds. The sound suppression water system has been activated. We're T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. We have to go from ready to start. Two. One, two, booster ignition, and liftoff of Shuttle Endeavour with NASA's final space station crew compartment that brings a bay window view to our celestial backyard. Roger, roll, Endeavour. This is Mission Control Houston. Endeavour's roll maneuver is complete. It is now in a heads down position on track for its flight to the International Space Station. 28 seconds into the flight, Endeavour flying at 1,100 miles per hour, 1.3 miles in altitude, and 7 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, according to onboard computers. Endeavour's engines are throttling down at the, as the orbiter passes through the area of maximum pressure on the vehicle.
Endeavor, go at throttle up. Endeavor copies, go at throttle up. The three main engines on board are throttling back up. Now one minute, 10 seconds in the flight. Endeavor flying at 1,800 miles per hour, 10 miles in altitude, 11 and a half miles downrange. At liftoff, the fully fueled shuttle boosters and external tank weighed four and a half million pounds. The total thrust at launch was 6,425,000 pounds. All systems continue to function well. Three good main engines, three good power generating fuel cells, and three good auxiliary power units for the hydraulic system. The next step will be the burnout and separation of the solid rocket boosters. Combined, the twin boosters provide 5.3 million pounds of thrust to propel the orbiter towards space. Endeavor performance is as expected thus far. Two minutes, 19 seconds into the flight, Endeavor flying at 3,700 miles per hour, 35 miles in altitude, and 49 miles downrange. The propulsion officer confirms that the orbital maneuvering system engines are firing, providing Endeavor with its extra boost to orbit. Endeavor, two engines, Zaragoza. Zaragoza. Now three minutes and four seconds into the flight, that call indicating an Endeavour could reach Zaragoza in the event of a single engine failure. However, all three main engines continue to operate well. Endeavour's computers showing it flying at 4,600 miles per hour, 50 miles in altitude, and 98 miles downrange. Endeavor, negative return. Copy, negative return. Four minutes and three seconds into the flight, Endeavor's now flying too high and too fast to return to the Kennedy Space Center in the shuttle landing facility in the event of an engine failure. Endeavor is flying at 6,000 miles per hour, 63 miles in altitude, and 180 miles downrange. Endeavor continu continuing on track. Endeavor, you are pressed to ATO. Copy, pressed to ATO. Five minutes and 18 seconds into the flight, that call indicating Endeavor can now reach a lower than planned but a safe orbit on two engines should one fail, but all three engines are still performing well, as are the auxiliary power units and fuel cells. Endeavor, single engine, Ops 3. Endeavor, copy, single engine, Ops 3. Five minutes, 50 seconds into the flight, Endeavor could conduct a transatlantic abort landing on one engine should two fail at this point.
Endeavour, single engine Zaragoza. Copy, single engine Zaragoza. Endeavour could reach Zaragoza on one engine should two fail at this point. Endeavour, you are pressed to Miko. Copy, pressed to Miko. Six minute, 22 seconds in this flight. Endeavour can reach the planned orbit on two engines. All three engines continue to operate well. Endeavour Houston, your shutdown plan is nominal. Go for the plus X, go for the pitch maneuver. Nominal shutdown, go for the plus X, go for the pitch. Endeavour flying at 12,000 miles per hour now. Endeavour single engine press. Copy, single engine press. Seven minutes, eight seconds in the flight. Endeavour can reach its planned orbit on one engine should two fail. However, all three still performing well. Endeavour is now at an altitude of 64 statute miles, 606 miles downrange. The three main engines are now throttling down to maintain structural limits on the orbiter as it passes or approaches loads near three times gravity. Seven minutes, 40 seconds into the flight. Eight minutes, 10 seconds into the flight. Endeavour continuing on track, all systems performing well. Booster officer confirms main engine cutoff. Endeavour Houston, nominal Miko, ohms one not required. Copy, nominal Miko, ohms one not required. And the external tank has separated now. Nine minutes into the flight of the Space Shuttle Endeavour on STS-130, the crew will be preparing for handheld photography of that external tank with a Plux X maneuver of the orbiter to position Endeavour correctly. Mission Specialists Bob Banken and Kay Heyer are quickly getting ready to capture that imagery. <laughs> 